Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser, and I'm Woolly Mike. But together we are modelling for advantage. Ding ding. Here we go then. So we are playing the contact mission straight out of the book. So this is a 1945 sort of post Battle of the Bulge scenario. Americans are pressing the attack and I am defending with a German tank training company. So it may look like I've got a lot of stuff, but the guys in them are really, really brittle. So the force that I have is a Panther battle group, a Panther training company. On the table, a company of three Panthers. Uh, sorry, a platoon of four Panthers. A platoon of four Panzer Fours. And I've got a Panzer Grenadier training company, seven bases, which are dug in in this area. They're foxholes there. I have placed my objectives on the roads. And that's important to me because I'm thinking my delay, my reserves are worse than Mike, so I'm going to need to use road movement to get to them. Off the table, if you come to the side panel over here, I've got the Headquarters Panther, and he has the old hand rule, which is helpful for making the other guys do what they need to do. I've got two King Tigers and some Panzer threes. I've also got in ambush a Yag Tiger. Ooh. So he's on the table, but ooh, who knows where? <laughs> what about you, Mike? What have you brought today? Okay, so coming up this road in a confident manner, attacking your Panzer Fours, is four Sherman 76 mils. They definitely outclass my Panzer Fours. Yep. Thinking to outflank those Panzer Fours because they can't see anything else at the moment is another four Sherman. 76s. So this is that, that post D-Day American army that's yep. got much more capability, yep. right? A yep. lot more 76s. They fought sure. their way through, so we're all playing veterans. In support, we've got the two command 76 Shermans. Righty-ho. And then we've got the four 105 Shermans. And that's the one with the howitzer. Yeah. Right. And they've got a scouting team of two Greyhounds and two Jeeps. Very nice. So because we had to keep so much off the table, you'd elected not to bring your recon force on. Yeah. Okay. And as a kind of RP thing, that's why you sort of ignored these Panthers. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, let's rock into round one. Um, only special rules in effect. We mentioned the ambush. Uh, you have immediate reserves, whereas I've got scattered and delayed reserves. Yep. So that's going to make a big difference when I get to get those King Tigers on the table. Well, here we are, round one, Mike. Uh, starting step, remount bailed out tanks. <laughs> Rally pin down units. Nope. Check last stand, check formation last stand, reveal ambushes, roll for reserves. Right, so, instant reserves. Target. Immediate reserves. Immediate reserves. One dice looking for five. Yep. No. Uh, roll for aircraft, remove friendly smoke markers. Okay, so that's your starting step. Movement step. Movement. Off you go. So if you remember in the in the first turn, you're going to count as moving. Yes. Even if you don't move. Yep. Whereas mine don't. We're going to cautiously go up the road. Because we should be able to get some shots on. So advancing 10. Okay, okay. Do you want me to get the laser pen so I can show you where the line is for you to see anything? <laughs> you want to shoot at these guys. So it's going to be... So it's just the first two there then, right? Yep. Okay. Whereas this is low terrain, so you can shoot with these, but they are stationary and gone to ground. Yep. I think that they're just going to burst. <laughs> <laughs> so we're using tactical so we can nip off the road. Infantry, you're digging in. So that's a skill check, right? Yep. So they come with foxholes. Oh, sorry, yes. They're already dug in. Yeah. Okay, so... Do you want to move into the building? Because they're in the field at the moment, behind it. No, the, the, the idea is... is that they're going to contest the objective yeah. when it matters. Yes. Yeah. My infantry unit's got two bazookas, so... Right. And, okay. a, and, and a 60 mortar, but that's... Uh, what you need, mate, is a spring-loaded, like, rubber band infantry oh, anti-tank weapon. yes. A projected infantry anti-tank yes. weapon, in fact. Yes. I hear they're really good. The spigot mortar by its technical name. Indeed. Shooting step. So, we've got four Shermans. Right, so we do need to check range here. Yep. 
So, because over 16 is a big deal. So basically only the front one is in short range. Everybody else has got an extra minus one. Yeah. This is tank training platoon. Yeah. So they're not pros. These tanks are aggressive, hit on threes. They are, however, gone to ground and in cover. Yep. So that's fives. And you are moving with the gong-ho rule, right? Stabilizers. The stabilizer rule, yep. yes, which allows you to take two shots, but you get a plus one to hit. Yes. Takes you to six. Yep. So this guy's on a six. Everybody else is on a seven. Yep. Because he's got the range. So do you want to roll his two shots first? So first two shots. No. And then the sevens. There's a six. And you need a five after that to get a, to get a seven. Yep. In Flames of War. No. Okay. So that's that unit. And then we've got one shot over here. And that shooting, uh, is that over 16? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a seven. Yep. So again, it's two shots because that American. Ooh. That's a hit. Front armor is six. Anti tank rating of that is of the 76. <laughs> Anti tank rating of my 76 is. is 12. So if I get a six, are you bailed me? Okay. I didn't. Uh, 6 plus 5, 11. So you've penetrated, so roll to destroy. Firepower 3 plus. Ooh! Shirts and armor. <laughs> <laughs> My shirts and armor might help me against your bazookas, but not against this. All right, so that tank is bailed out. All right. And that's a nice and quick first turn. Okay. Well, that went better than I thought. Uh, so I'm going to remap main dark tanks here. But my motivation for my Panzer IVs, remount three plus protected ammo. Oosh. There you go. That one, that's okay. Now, reveal ambushes. Reveal ambushes. Where do I want to put my Yag Tiger? <laughs> I can put it anywhere, can't I? In your deployment zone. In my deployment zone. Oh, so that's not quite as good. I think these dirty American tanks can't penetrate my front armor of 17. So my deployment zone was up to there. So I think I'm going to stick him here. Okay. Yep. Uh, and he's not a rookie. He's a pro. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's my starting step. Roll for reserves. Not for me. Not until round three. Oh, we didn't get the turn marker out, Mike. No. As if by magic, the dice appears. As if by magic. Now, my Panthers, their skill rating is green, five up. They're not going to be able to blitz that. So these guys have got a green skill rating. So I am not going to risk trying to blitz. Because odds are they'll mess it up. So the way we tend to play these hills, because they're very flat on top, is as soon as I touch the hill, I can count as a hold down position, and I'll stay hold down until I cross the forward, onto the forward slope relative to the attacker. So I'm going to move these guys on like this. Okay? Yep. That's those guys. I think the Panzer IVs are going to stay where they are. Because I think if they move, they run the risk of being easier to hit than they already are. So I'm going to go with that. So we get onto the shooting phase then. I've got three Panthers shooting at these tanks. Yeah. And I hit you on fours. Yep. That's it, right? Yep. You're, vet you're a veteran one. Veteran fours, yep. So I hit on fours. Here we go. And I get two hits. I will assign those to the lead two tanks. So there's my hits. Yep. So you're going to make your armor safe. Panther has got an uh, anti-tank power of 14. I've got a front armor of sevens. So I penetrate then? Yep. <laughs> okay, so the front one is only bailed. That's a one. Yep. And the next one is knocked out. Kaboom! And uh, you'll be needing some of this. Uh, here, I can give you a section for over your yeah. end of the table. I, I don't know if I need that much, but... 
You have enough vehicles, I think, if the, as the game goes on, yeah. I think. Okay, so it's like it's animated look. That's during the turret yeah. explosion. That was there. Yank Tiger is going to take two shots at the same unit. One hit, so that'll be on the lead vehicle. I'm pretty confident it goes through. It's tank power of 18. Yep. Uh, and it's got a... F so you, I'm going to make a firepower check, which is two up. Yes. Boom! Okay, but this is my commander. Right, so somebody else in the unit is going to take over, so just swap the turret. Yeah. So we'll do that. It's, uh, yeah, those rules are much more about, basically they prevent you from widely dispersing your yeah. forces without consequence. Uh, that's there and there. And then Panzer IV, then two, four, six, eight shots. But and again, some will and some won't be in 16. 16 to there. Oh, no, no. I cannot shoot your lead tank. So you've got cover. So that takes you to five, right? Yep. This is the low terrain. Ooh. Four hits. Uh, now. In terms of assigning them, that has to go one each. Yep. So they're all going to benefit from superior armor for longer range. Their armor goes up by one. Yep. So the front, do you want to roll for the front one first? Um, my anti-tank power on Panzer IV is 11. No. So uh, roll to destroy. Oh, that's a cock dice. Yes, that's destroyed. Okay. So just turn it to remind us of yep. that's one. Then the um, next three. They're all going to be okay, aren't they? 12 and 13, yeah. Yeah, so you're all good. So we just knock out the lead tank. Yeah, so again. Just make somebody else the commander. These American tanks, the third chief commander. You yeah. can defeat them. Well, that was the end of round one. Let's have a look at round two. Right, round two. Round two. Oh, it's getting a bit warm on this side of the field. <laughs> there are enemy tanks, it <laughs> seems. So, guys, so, I thought this war was over. Yeah. I thought this war was yeah, over. Well, you know, we've been told there were four pounds of fours up the road, so we've steamed up to do them, and we've been squimmied. You've discovered some much more serious vehicles. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. He bailed out, but then you blew him up. Right, okay. So then you've got two dice you want to recover there. All right, thank you. Thank you. So, reserves, two dice this time. Two dice. Looking for fives. you got a pair. Ooh. So... It hasn't been obvious, I'm, I'm hiding this objective under my yeah. book. Because this is my weaker flank. So this is your artillery, but yeah. they do have a direct fire capability. Yeah. So, they got the message. They got the message. Don't, don't go right. And supporting them... ...is my dinkies. Right. So that's... that's Kind of their move, right? Yeah. You've gone on to the move phase. All right. A any other tactical moves? Yeah, we're going to... So you're out of 16 at the moment. So do you want to move them to within 16? I think going up to the head, we get to 16 because the first tank was... Yeah. In yeah. Nice, nice and close and warmth. <laughs> Keep warm. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> I get that. So we will manoeuvre to there. Right, ho. You're all gung ho. Yep. Yeehaw and all that. So in terms of reserves, all you've got left off the table is your command element. Yes. Right? Yep. So we will start with the two Shermans that have just got out of the nasty game. So the Panthers are also rookies. They're, they're hit on threes and they are in cover because the hold down is fours. And is it over? Yeah, it's over range, so fives. And stabilizers goes to sixes. Stabilizers goes to sixes, but you get the two shots. Yeah. That's a hit. Which one would you like to hit? We'll have the one that's on the angle. The, this one? Yeah. Okay. So uh, Panther's got a front armor of 10, 13. Long range 12. 14. Yeah. 
So it bounces? Yep. He's a bit nervous because actually the under, you know, yeah. getting that kind of undercut. I think they saw some of it. Didn't the Israelis suffer a bit with that in Syria? Yeah. They, they, they realised yeah. they needed more gun depression and that tanks were quite weak on the underside of the front. Okay, so we've got the three remaining. So these are not gone to ground anymore. They've just got the concealment. So it's threes, cover four, stronghold five. Yeah. Stabiliser, sorry. Oh, three hits. I'm going to go back to woolly tactics. I've been changing it earlier on. All right, okay. Hang on, hang on. Which three? Because uh, we'll I do this bit. Okay. Left, one, two, three. You're, you're left to right, yeah. Okay, so this one. Whoop, cock nice. Five plus six is 11. What's your anti tank? 12. Oh, boo! <laughs> uh, so uh, this one. So I need a six, basically. This one. Oh, my days. If you were at long range, they all would have been fine. All right, roll to knock out. No. No. Yes. yes. Wow. Ugh. Come on, on you go, on you go. Where's the hole? <laughs> this is why people magnetize their turrets so they can deal with flames better. All right, it's knocked out. Okay, sir. And your other tanks, they can't shoot on the move, can they not? No, no. I think they can, can they? No, they're um, uh, slow firing. Slow firing, yeah. Slow firing. And your 20 mils can't shoot through, or 37 mils. It's, tw it's 24 range, basically, so. And your own guys are in the way. Yeah. Sweet. Me to go? Yep. Oh, round two, loving it. These guys are gonna die, but can they take more of those filthy Yankees out before they go? I think they're gonna stand. They're gonna stand. They're gonna stand. Yag Tiger can't see anybody, can it? Nope. Yag Tiger does not want to get shot in the side by a dirty Yankee tank. So that means Yag Tiger is going to make a tactical move. 10 inch tactical would take me over here. So Panzer IVs are going to move. Because I want the Yag Tiger to be able to fire. These two are going to move to here, leaving this one behind. Okay, out of command. Out of command. But he can still shoot. All right? Yep. Shooting phase. Panthers are going to annihilate this squadron. Come on. Threes, right? Fours. Yep. Were you over 16? Uh, yes. Fives. Only the one hit. Um, you can't depend. You are destroyed. <laughs> Take the non-commander one off. Yeah. You're going to end up swapping for the other guy. Okay. Is something wrong with our damn tanks today? Yag Tiger's going to fire. It's long range. I think he might be... He's slow firing as well. Which means he's got plus one on this shooting. So I shouldn't have moved these yet, should I? He's got plus one on his shooting, so it's it's four long range, five, slow firing, six, and cover, seven. Yep. No. So these two each get one shot, and this gets two. Okay? Yep. Firing ahead, and it's four's cover five. Yeah? Yep. Two hits. And tank power panzer four was 11. So we've got a 12 and a 10. Five power three up. No, one is bailed. I think that was it for my round two because I don't get to roll for reserves. Okay. All right, let's have a look at round three. Round three. Yeah. <sighs> round three. It, you, you got the first action, so. Uh, any bailed out tanks? Yes, you've got one. one. Three plus. No. Right, any pin down units? Blah, 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 blah. No. no more off table reserves. Oh, yes, you have. Yeah. So you get three dice now. <sighs> and he's not coming on. No. Yeah. Waiting for the uh, This unit, I think, automatically passes last stand checks. 
Yeah. Yeah. The commander. I believe so. So you're onto your movement phase. So we're going to use a cross here. You're going to cross here. There's a gap there you can move through. Ah. Okay. We will let's move, we'll take the gap then. Take the gap, sir. Yeah. Are you wanting to? Oh, shorten the angle. I'm not sure that's going to work. That's not going to work. I can shoot to there. There it'll work. But then you're lengthening the range. Yeah. Right, so in that case, then we're going we're, we're gonna to go full Monty then. Full Monty? Yeah. <sighs> He's not doing anything. He's not. Right. Oh, because he oh. bailed out. How did he end up? <laughs> Stuck to you somehow. Yeah. Yeah, so just check that cross here on page 48. It basically improves. So you've got three more dice to roll. Yeah. And they're all three pluses. So, so it's two plus. Yeah. So you're good? All good. All good. Yeah. So they're just advancing up. Where are, whereas you think those vehicles are never going to make it round. <laughs> okay, so we're staying stationary there. So we'll start over here, and I think I I've, I've, might be in range of Panzer IV bashing with my direct fire. Yes, but you said before they were slow firing. They are slow firing. Okay, so. Which means they're plus one to hit. I just checked that, and yeah, yeah. Tiger. So. Uh, yeah, so those look like they're covered by your guys, yeah. with perhaps one exception, but this is definitely fireable at. Yeah. So you've got four four shots. Do you want to take one over there? I think I can get one over there, yeah. yeah. That, the you can from the end one. Yeah. yeah. So, this so the three on... Oh, okay, do that one first. That's not going to hit, is it? Because you've got slow firing, you've got long range, and yeah. you've got cover. And no. No. That's a cocked one there. Give that a reroll. You're so no. kind. Okay. Okay. These have got four shots. Yeah. And they've just got uh, long range, not long range, they've just got cover and stabilizers. Stabilizers. Uh, on threes, takes you to five. Ooh. That's a hit. Uh, I roll this dice. I'm sorry, yeah. And I need a six, don't I? Oh! oh! Right, now you make your firepower check. Yeah, 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 boom, boom. <sighs> Disorder over there. And two stationaries at Panther at Panther. Yep. So that's just force for uh force for cover, because I'm three basic. One hit. However, I need to roll terribly here because I've got ten. Yeah, magic yep. dying. Magic doing, you know. Magic doings. Magic doings. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay. Me? Yep. <sighs> Remount middle of that tanks. No. Rally pin down units. No. Check last hand. No. This has still got two models in it. <sighs> Real ambushes. Roll for reserves. Hmm, Sting in command. I don't think this counts as having two models in it because it's out of command. It is. So I'm going to make a... Oh, I'm going to regret this. So the Panzer IV's motivation is confident. Four up. Yep. Hop! Oh, <laughs> no! They cheese it and run. They are gone. I regret leaving that tank behind now. I didn't even need to move, really, because that had one <laughs> terrible shot. And now the table is wide open to my objective there. <laughs> Boo! I'm not happy about that, Mike. No. Nope. I'm going to roll for my reserves, though. See if I can replace those two Panzer IVs with two Panzer... <laughs> is it seven or eight for King Tiger? Yes! That's a cock dice, isn't it? Yep. I wanted that not to be. Yes! yes! So I could bring on one Panther, three Panzer IIs, 
or two panicking tigers? Which would you go for? <sighs> Panzer threes. <laughs> just, 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 the Panzer twos, mate, not twos. threes. King tiger, I think it is. It's got a tactical move of ten. So into my movement phase. <laughs> ten inches here. Here we go. And what's the front armour on those gentlemen? I think 17. Uh, <laughs> I'm not making it up. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. King Tiger front, I'm 16. Yes, 17 sir. on Yag Tiger. Yeah. Uh, right, so you like that, won't you? Still my movement phase. He's got a shot, you've got shots. They've got shots. Yeah, okay. Staying, staying, everybody's standing still apart from the two King Tigers that have moved up. Mm. Ooh. Tiger 2. And it doesn't even have the slow firing rule, look at that. Put the gone to ground markers on these. Because if they're in cover it does matter, right? Oh, you're not gone to ground if you shoot though, are you? No, no you're not. You're not if you shoot, no. Cool. Okay, so shooting. We'll start with the three Panthers firing at the... I'm going to be cocky. I'm going to fire two of them at this and the last one over here. It's long range though, isn't it? Yep. So it's fives. <coughs> fives. Whenever you split fire, you regret it. Okay, <laughs> I'm firing them all at your commander. So fives. All the hits. Two armor saves to make. Neither of them are, I think, good enough. What's the five? Twelve. Two? A seven, so twelve is... Uh, yeah, I think you couldn't do it when we looked. Yeah, Panther's yeah. got 14, even at long range. Right, so that goes through. So a pair of uh, penetrations. Yeah, boom. That's Panther. A Yag Tag is firing at these two, so they're on fours, cover five, right? Yep. No hits. King Tag is going to do the same. They're on fours, cover five. Oh! I should do Wooly Mike when he rolled that badly. He should not pick up the same <laughs> dice again and try and roll them. That's the end of my round three. All right, boom. Right, well, the sheep are still in the field. Hey! The infantry are still dug in. Nice. Four burning Shermans. Nice. I like that a lot. One burning Sherman over here. The heavy mobs coming up on the left flank. There were Panzer Fours here. They were. Two dead and two ran. Yeah. And then uh, the heavy brigade. Hey! Now causing me problems. All the King Tigers. And over... Here we've still got the three Panthers on the hill. We're not sure what they're going to do in the next phase, but we're going to go forward. Very nice. Into round four. Round four. Reserves, I've still got my command still team. Still got your command team. Here they come. Here they come. The, you want to feed them to Panther? <laughs> uh, where do I want them to go? Over here, there's um, 16 and 17 front armour. Yeah. If you yep. fancy that. Yeah, we'll be coming at those in a moment. Right. So well, you've deployed those there in the belief they can shoot over here, right? Uh, well, they're defending the objective because I think you're going you're to move down. I just think it's important to clarify that yeah. movement. So do you want to take the laser pen? See whether... Because yeah. you either do or don't want them to be able to shoot and be shot at. So... Then we'll come back here. Hmm. They're damned if they're, well, we'll, what we'll do is we'll go maximum long range instead. We'll park them here, so at the very least. So I think at the longest range is a loser for you because I can penetrate you and you can't penetrate me. Yep. Against Panther. So. I'm not trying to be difficult. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm oh, no. like, I've, I've, I've played this game before. Right, what are we going to do? Well, let's chuck them up the road. Let's go for an objective. We can take out those two punies. All right. 
So they're gonna. So are they doing a, a dash? Are they? Oh, I've got a remount, haven't I? Yep. Have you got protected ammo? Or wet wet stowage is it called on the Americans? No, but they're three plus remount. Cool. So we get him back in the game. So yeah, they're just going to come up the road. I don't think they're going to have a target now. Me lumpy dumpties. Side armor on Tiger Two is eight. So you probably your Greyhound still can't do it either. Yeah. Whereas on Panther, it's more like five, I think. Panther is five side armor. Yeah. So we're going to advance the four 105s. So you're going with the cross here thing, so it's two up to cross, right? Yeah. Because they're not shooting. So left to right. Yeah, you can just put them the way the dice fall if you want, Mike. Because everybody passed anyway. Yeah. So you can make, is it 10 inch tactical? Yep. Or eight? And these have got a, trip, got a cross country of 16, so they're gonna hide behind those, right. So these two Shermans are now going to cross here and come this way. Oh, no. Oh, dear, dear, dear. So they're going to stay where they are and then he's going to catch up with a separate cross here. He does. Well, again, there was a gap there. Yeah. He didn't have to roll. Oh, right. Yeah. But if they're going to cross here, then they can't shoot. Yeah. That was in a nasty position. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Okay, that's movement then. That's movement. Shootings. Yep. Right, are we within... I, I, I know it's... Well, I think they did a cross here. Yep. They did a dash. Yep. They did a cross here. Yep, and they did a... And, and they, they, they can't see through these yep. guys. Yep. Over I'm, to you, I, sir. I'm, I'm not sure that that was the best turn you've ever played, to be honest, Mike. <laughs> I was thinking as you were doing it, like yeah. you're not shooting anything. Yeah, but I've got I've got more I've got more more bodies than you've got shots. You have got more bodies than I've got shots. Okay, so these two panthers can see down here, right? Yeah, but this other one can't. Is that correct? Yes, we've agreed that. Right, and sheen gun range on Panther. Oh, I, no, I should start by rolling for my reserves. So I get two dice now. No. No reserves, ah. Right, so Panther's cross country, uh, sorry, tactical move is 10. And sheen gun range on Panther is 16. So I, I want to move these down there, facing that way, 10 inches. Yeah, that, that's it. And line up the ducks. Bases are in range. Bases are in range. Cool. No point in you moving. No point in you moving. We need to do all the shooting here. This is the moment to shoot. So that's what I will do. So shooting, sheen guns on Panther, four each, so that's 12 dice. Is that veteran infantry? Are they hitting fours? Yep, veteran infantry. So it's fours and cover and gone to ground. Yep. It's sixes, concealed and gone to ground. That's, yep. Keep saying cover, it's concealed. Sixes. No hits. Well Boom. dug in. Sorry? This, this is a Bastogne parachute regiment, uh, infantry unit. So. Indeed. Indeed. All right, so that was Panther. Um, so this is going to fire at those. And it is fours, concealed fives. No hits. And King Tiger is going to shoot the same unit. Fours, concealed fives. Two hits. They go through. Yep. 
uh, Tiger 2, 3 up firepower. 2 destroyed, boom boom. We have a last stand check. You do, but I, do you do that in your yeah. turn? Or do you yeah. do that now? It's in my check turn. last stand is in yeah. your turn, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's me done, I think. So there we are, let's have a look at round five. Yep, round five. So, no reserves? No reserves for you, sir. They're all, they're all here. Yep. Last stand for my single Sherman. Indeed. Let's get a big two here. Oh, no. boo! Oh. Your last stand's got to be at least four. Yep. Okay, now what about formation morale? How many mainline units have you got? From your core force. Is it two? In my core force, uh, it was the two Sherman units and the HQ. So you've only got one in good standing? Yeah. Does that mean you're, you've are you lost formation morale? I, I have. Thank you for the game, <laughs> sir! If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description. But a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you. So, what do we have? A lot of burning Shermans. There's a lot of burning Shermans. Yep. Well, well done, dug in Bastoyne Infantry. They're not going anywhere. Yep. Stay. And we probably can't get them out. Yep. Still to protect him. And then more Shermans burning here, the second core unit. Mm. The, the heavyweight tanks and the light vehicles didn't really um, do much to the formation. And the, They'd have been a lot more dangerous against my infantry, especially once it starts moving. Yes, yeah. And mm. finally, the obviously the Command 2 tanks arriving very late and missing the bus. So, yeah. Two Panzer Falls burning, two left the field. Yeah, and the, you would, I mean, I think you got a combination of unlucky and you had a terrible turn. Was it turn four? Yeah. Where you just you made all the movement orders and then realised like hang on a minute I can't shoot here. Yes. Um, because yeah. you saw with like with the Panzer Force if I have to make that last stand check I'm going to fail it. Yeah. And these are small units. Yeah. So my idea was to overwhelm you with more more targets and you've got shots available. Yeah. Because yeah. You've got big guns but they can only fire. They can only fire so many shots. Absolutely. But yes, a tactical error on my part and the Americans see them leaving the field in shame and lots of burning vehicles. 